Hey everybody, welcome to Crafty Peep. This is a video for BB Craft. I am a ambassador for them and I will be making a shabby chic bow using almost all of their um, ribbon as well as some I have picked up in um, Goodwills and like um, this lacy dress I picked up at Goodwill. So I have been needing to do this for a while. That will work out perfect. And look, the little girl section is wonderful. Look at all those buttons I have to work with. And it's like $5.99 maybe. All right. You can measure, I'm not much of a measure. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm using probably 24 inches. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30 inches, roughly. And I just start stacking I just start cutting and then we will stack it due to the length or the, the width, not the length. I thank BB Craft for sending me all of their ribbon. I'm going to make a order soon. They have much more than just ribbon. They have beads and stuff to make jewelry with. Just beautiful, beautiful lace that you can um, Oh, you can add to your uh, blue jeans or your sh blue jean shorts. Um, perfect for your craft projects. All right. And if you watch any of us crafters, we probably all do it a little bit different. And so you just do it any way that makes sense to you. Because sometimes I make it too difficult on myself. <laughs> I admit. <laughs> and if some of this is, if like, if you get white, uh, lace, or if you have white, white lace in your um, inventory already, you can just, and it's too white for you, just dip it in a bowl of um, a tea bag or a little um, cup of coffee and get it out, and voila, you will have antiqued, uh, an antique look. All right, I got this great big reel at Goodwheel for $2.99 and it was 15 feet. I'll be using that at the back. And we might try to singe off the ends too. A lot of people do that and I don't, so. This from Dollar Tree. I might have already cut some, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna put a little strand of this in there. I got um, 
it was a moon that had a bunch of stuff from Hobby Lobby that I got for, I think, 40% off. Um, it's been a while. All right, let's start putting it together. Um, <laughs> I'm going to cut. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to cut more and tie it and then the, use this as my, um, as the sides of my ribbon of my bow. Pretty. gold through there. All right, I'm just going to use a little piece of twine. See how much we need for a bow. Measure that and tell you. about 22 inches and this part is just going to make the bow or you know yeah the bow If you haven't already subscribed, I would love that. And I would love your like and follow over on Facebook. Okay, I just put this in a long line. Let me see if I can lower that. And then I cross it over. I cinch it in the center and I'm just going to tie it Keep those on there for now because I don't know where I'm going to be tying it to, what kind of project I'm going to be tying it to. Um, you can also use um, stiffener, fabric stiffener, and spray it on here. And by tomorrow morning, it would be um, stiff if you wanted a little stiffer look. All right. And 
and I think I will add one of these buttons from this dress to the center. You can go back and trim up the ends and put them at a diagonal. Oh, let's try the uh, singeing the ends a little bit. I do usually do the left side up, up to the left corner and the right side up to the right corner. Doing a little haircut. Right. Hopefully you can tell that's a little shabby chic bow. I've seen people um, add these to the front of their Bibles. All right. This is so the ribbon doesn't fray. All right, there we go. And again, thank you, BB Craft. 